guess that we're buying the house today. We're not just filming for fun. What? One of the most luxury built in Irvine. It's $4.5 million. This house is amazing. This is Heilong and Tiffany. They are good friends. They're YouTubers here in California. They're also real estate agents here in California. So today we are going to be taking everyone on an adventure of a lifetime to see sunny California and three houses at drastically different price points. So what are we going to be looking at today? We're going to see three houses. Okay. And the price point is, like you said, very drastic. So we're going to start you off with a house that's going to be a little bit smaller with mm -hmm. one bed. And okay. then we're gonna go up all the way to the big end of the spectrum and show you a house that's one of the most expensive in Irvine. Wow, so I think this is super cool because you can go from about 500,000, 600,000 area all the way up into eight million. So we're gonna take everyone on that adventure and let's go see some houses. So here we are at the first house. What are we gonna be looking at today? A one bedroom asking $670,000. One, one bedroom, bedroom, one bath, studio apartment. Correct. For $670,000. I don't want to call it a studio. Okay. When there's a studio, there's no, there's no bedroom. bedroom. No bedroom. So it's okay. actually a, a one bedroom. Okay, so let's check it out. Let's, let's take go. a look. All right. Wow. Wow. Wow, it's so small. Really? So this is about <laughs> the size of my apartment in Taiwan, I would say. But I don't have this kitchen. Look at this kitchen. We've got a dishwasher, a stove, which normal, giant sink. Oh my god. For one bedroom, I think this is huge. Yeah, for a one bedroom, this yeah. is not a studio at all. This is like, if you are coming to work, I feel yeah. like, you know, a young professional. Look at this fridge. This is huge. You could host people in I this, think this house. Fridge is, I think, yeah. Elizabeth, this, this fridge is normal. No, it's way bigger than my fridge, okay? Oh, okay, okay. In, in Taiwan, I would not have that. Okay. okay, so this is an oven. What is this the microwave? I was actually really shocked coming in seeing this kitchen. When I think of one bedroom, I'm thinking small, cramped, probably like a bed comes out of the wall, you know, type of thing. Mm -hmm. But this is beautifully laid out. This living room is probably the size of my living room in my house. Okay, so here's the bathroom. I think they hire very expensive designer to do all this. Yes. So it's not really every American has that taste. True. So I didn't even notice that there's actually a pretty big balcony. So what I'm used to in my house in Taiwan is that mm. our washer and dryer are on the balcony. Right. We could never have like an entire table and chairs yeah. and like maybe a little barbecue here. Right. Do you think this is a California thing or is it something that more new builders are doing where they're bringing indoor outdoor living into apartment life? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I feel like instead of in Taiwan where a lot of it's used as like practical space, in California, most of the space is maybe used as like a community space that people can actually right. enjoy. Right. So that would be the key difference. Well, I do like this and I think it's beautiful but I do wish there was a little bit more of that practical space. So uh, then if yeah. you wanted that, you'd have to go to the next price point, which yeah. is the two bedroom and get a little more space. Yes, but you still won't see those drying racks in any house in America. Yeah. Everybody uses the dryers here. That's true, that's true. Yeah. And if the clothes shrink, lose weight. <laughs> exactly, that's good point. That's my plan. <laughs> so then this is the one bedroom. Is this a closet? Ah, washer and dryer. It's oh, okay. nice when you're sleeping, you can't hear it. I didn't even think of that. I, I'm sure new ones are quieter, right? Okay, so this room is a pretty decent size. The wallpaper is beautiful. It looks great. I feel like if I were in a tech company, I could buy this house. Like, I, it's not a family home Why do you for have sure? to be in tech company? As a YouTuber, you can buy this house. Today, where's the check? Do you have your check? YouTubers don't make that Where's much, the check? I thought we're buying the house today. We're not just filming for fun. What? Okay, this closet is also beautiful. I love that they have a mirror right here on the door. That looks great. This is beautiful. I like this. I just can't see myself buying this home. Is it because the price? The price, the size. So also, much, I have a child. Okay, how much would you pay for this price? <laughs> okay, so this builder is Lennar, right? My yeah. sister got a house for 500000 from this builder in a different location. She paid 500000 for that. Mm -hmm. So for this, 
Even being in California, I feel like a decent price would be like four hundred thousand. Yeah, you're actually right. Irvine is a little bit more. Uh, Irvine expensive. is a little more expensive. It's also the Brand entire new. community. So, okay, how much is the actual cost of the home? Six hundred seventy. But whatever you see here, it's the model house. Okay. So if you want to upgrade it to this level, you probably need another. 30, 50 grand. Depends on who you okay. hire. So then, what kind of person is living in these homes? W what do you think? I'm thinking like just getting into the workforce, but maybe yeah. like mom and dad are like, we'll buy you your first starter yeah. home. Someone in tech who has Definitely like a not really with decent. Two kids, you know? Yeah, who for sure. really live in here. For sure. Well, so not... there's no yard, but there is a garage, correct? Yes. Okay. Not your personal garage, pretty much like a spot that you are assigned to park there. Oh, okay. Yeah, so so it's, it's like close. in Taiwan, like the basement levels mm, of... Kind of, yeah. Oh, okay. What other fees are going to come with this? I know there's property taxes, there's HOA. Correct. If you were to move into this place, what would we be paying? Uh, you will be paying around 700 bucks in HOA every month. Property taxes will be around 2% here. Okay. It's 1% plus Merrill Lewis. Okay. Merrill Lewis is about $7,000 a year here. So if you purchase 670 times 1%, it's roughly 7,000 plus additional 7,000 mil lose. That becomes $14,000 just on the cost one year. I will never own a home in my life. No, you can. <laughs> 在看房子的时候，我就想到，哎，我小时候 tap water 是可以直接喝了，好像台湾不行。但是呢，有一个方法。那身为一个美国人，不会 DIY 的人都是很厚亚郎，所以我要来 DIY 一下，即开即饮的饮用水。噔！我装好了，就干单呢。那我今天来跟大家介绍一下 Brita On Tap Pro。五重绿菌龙头式滤水器是日本制作，完全不占空间，而且它还有三种储水模式，饮水、洗菜都能用。LCD 面板还有数字与颜色倒数滤水量，它可以滤菌九九点九九趴，打开水龙头就可以直接喝了，而且一天只要十一块 ，CP 值超高。我个人喜欢再搭配 Brita Eco Style 的滤水壶，它是去水垢最佳首选。泡茶和咖啡的时候更美味。现在还有新出的漂亮深蓝绿和冰川蓝，超美的。我觉得这色系很好看呢、欸。还有一个很方便的小设计，就是上面的这个 LED 红绿灯，智能提醒换新。啊，真的是我饮用水自由啦！ So we just got to the second house, and can you tell us a little bit about this house? This house is a second house. It means that it's not like we just saw the new new house. This house is about 160 million dollars. And no yard? It's a small house. You don't have a yard, okay? This is not a yard, okay? It's a little bit. Okay, okay. It's a little bit. Okay, okay. Wow, okay, so what is this? Is this the living room? That's the living room, yes. Okay, so I love the design of the windows, but this looks like a very small living room or even like a formal living room, right? Okay, so here is a bathroom. Very nice, small, practical. That would be a half bath, right? So I would say this is a typical thing for a house that has two stories. You've got a half bath downstairs that the guests can okay, use. Okay, okay. And then there's over here, you'll see a bedroom, but also has a bathroom, obviously that's a little more private. Oh, okay. So public bathroom, private bathroom. Wow. So this kitchen actually is smaller than the last kitchen we saw. Is this something that's more common in older homes? Uh, I would say so. This wow. has four bedroom, uh, a loft, a bonus room upstairs. So if you want to make it to five bedroom, you could. Okay. And this is located in the gated community. Yeah, so yeah. that's what's going to add to the price, right? To the value. Is are the amenities good here? Not as good as the first one. Okay. But it got pretty much everything you needed already. Okay. Barbecue, okay. swimming pool, park. So this house is 2,456 2, square feet mm -hmm. for $1.6 million. HOA is roughly $300. Cheaper than one bedroom yeah. in the gated community. Yeah. yeah, okay. So then we go in through here. These are the stairs to the upstairs. Yeah. Here is a closet. Here is 
The garage. The spacious garage. Wow. Turn on the way. Okay, two car garage. So two cars can park in here. Go in here for a bedroom. This one is a master. Okay. To me, it feels kind of small, but then you look into the bathroom and you're like, wow, that's pretty spacious. I feel like this is also normal in older homes where the master is not as big. Okay, so here is a his and hers closet, bathtub, spa, jacuzzi, and then nice, beautiful shower over here. If you want something really, really luxury, you might have to up your budget a little bit. Do you think that's true? Correct. We'll okay. check out something four million dollars above. That will be the next house. Let's uh -huh. go upstairs first. Okay, so this is what I was saying is that the downstairs living room was very small, so it seemed like there would be an upstairs living room as well. This would probably be like real family room. So you put your TV here. If you homeschool your kids, you could have them homeschool, homeschool. in here. Or if you... Who in Taiwan homeschool? I don't know. I'm just saying. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, they could if they, they could. wanted to. Okay. You could have a game room in here, a pool table. This would be the next bedroom, right? With his own bathroom in it. Wow, this bathroom looks really. It's your Listen, I cannot afford this house either. So I'm just saying. But if it was me and I was looking at this bathroom, I would be like, no, like this is, I mean, a pretty standard like 20 year old bathroom. Correct. Yeah. Correct. See, knowledgeable. This closet looks pretty good. Okay, nice. We have a pretty long bathroom in here. It's got the Jack and Jill sink, which means two sinks in the bathroom. See, this bedroom, I feel like for a child is the perfect size. But if you're a grown woman, I don't know how you're going to feel in this bed bedroom. I think in Irvine, a lot of the bedrooms are smaller. And okay. Just because you can say, hey, instead of three beds, there's four here, but they're all small. Yes, they're all small, yeah. which is kind of similar to what we do in Taiwan. So who are we to judge, right? <laughs> Okay, over here we have the washer and dryer. These come with the house, correct? Depends on how you write a contract. Okay. So if you write a contract with the house, and yes, if you don't want it. They'll take them out. Yeah, because okay. some people don't want wash and dryer. They yeah. want their own wash and dryer, yes. so. And then we have one last bedroom, which seems to be about the same size as this one, huh? Yeah, it's about the same yeah. size. So, question. This house is $1.6 million. Yeah. What are HOA costs and property taxes? HOA is roughly $300. Okay. Property tax about $1.2. $18,000. Similar to what you bought on the first one. If you buy this one, it's bigger, but the holding costs about the same. Yep. So oh, in that area, it's pretty expensive. So this house is really cool. I think it seems like it's a little bit older, but it definitely has some nice features and it's in a great area. So we're going to see what is the next higher price point, which is four, over $4 million, so let's go. We've just arrived at house number three and I can't wait to look inside. It looks so beautiful. So can you tell us a little bit about this house? This one is located in Ocha Hills, uh, one of the most luxury built in Irvine. It's wow. $4.5 million. That is an insane amount yeah. of money for a home. Because this one has a view with it. Okay, let's check so it out. let's take a look inside. Oh yeah. Welcome to my house. This is actually my house. <laughs> I wish. So I like that you walk in. Here's the stairs. There's actually a bedroom right here, which is so cool. So we have a closet right here, a full bath right here with a shower, sink and toilet, obviously. And then this is a good size bedroom. Would you live here? Yeah, obviously. Oh, okay. And then you look out the window and you see trees and you see beautiful homes. I just think that is so nice. Like. This is the house I would live in, obviously. <laughs> Good luck, Eric. <laughs> but what I love is here you have another half bath. You have a whole closet of storage. You go through here. You have your garage to the right. And then... The view. The view. So the view in this home is the selling point, I'm assuming. This kitchen is also very, very interesting. I don't know, I've never seen it before. I don't live near this kind of luxury, but you guys have probably seen where they have the butler's pantry and then a full-on second pantry. That's crazy, watch this. So usually, if you have like a private chef or something, this is where you have them cooking the actual food and then you bring it out and pretend like you made it on this beautiful stove. <laughs> I like that. And then you serve it to your guest against this beautiful large island. This little kitchen, they usually cook with something like with a lot of smoke. 
Oh, okay. So you can close it or open that door. So, okay. you know, the smell doesn't really get into the house. So over here we have, what are these? Is this a microwave or an oven? This looks like a toaster oven, right? Oh, maybe this is the microwave That's right the here. Microwave, yeah. Ah, okay. And then check out this. Okay, come look at this fridge. Look at this. So much food. This is how you have a true amazing party. That's incredible. And then there's also another pantry right off to my left where you would store all your sugar and your snacks and your treats. This house is amazing. Okay, so I have a question. Yeah. In this type of living room, do you think there's gonna be another living room upstairs and this is formal living room? Of course. If okay. I pay four million, five million dollars, I want to yeah. have two living rooms at least. least yes, you know? at least, yes. Mm -hmm. So would this be the dining room over here or do you think this is like a breakfast nook? I think they do it both. Some of the newer full plan, they combine both together. Yeah. They don't really separate. I like that. Room. You don't need a breakfast nook and a grand table, right? Yeah. So let's go ahead and head upstairs. Okay, so look at this. This is like the game room slash movie room. I feel like this goes back to what Tiffany was talking about, about not being practical. I mean, you would need an extra couch right here or something to watch this TV. For model house, they don't really care about practical or not, as long as they can make it pretty. Okay. And that's the, the goal. You know? Okay. You even, I've never seen a Monopoly this beautiful either, <laughs> so. That's what you get when your budget is $4.5 million. Wow. Okay, this might be the primary bed. I just saw the closet. Look at this closet. It gets better. Look at this. Look at this. To be honest, it's actually smaller than what I was expecting on a 4.5 <laughs> or up to $8 million home. There's two though. There's you have two. To remember, there's two. So his and hers, right? Hers. Okay, or hers and hers. He can get the dresser. <laughs> this is beautiful. Wow, imagine living life with this shower. <sighs> okay, this bathroom is amazing but I honestly feel it could be better. Shh. Oh. oh, this is beautiful. Look at this little room. Wow, see, look at the sliding door closet, the standard sliding door closet, but the wallpaper makes this room feel so luxurious. And like the color scheme, I love a good turquoise. Reminds me of Tiffany Blue. Look at your view. Ah, and it's like a movie where there's rich kids and they wake up and they just sing a song on their balcony. Look at this even has a bathroom with a tub. That is so, so, so pretty. Oh, I love it. See, this is the kind of laundry room that we need in life. You got a stain in your clothes, throw it in the laundry room sink. You got some cabinets so you can store all of your washing liquids. If I live in a $5 million house, I would never fold my clothes. But the help could fold your clothes. Uh, right here? Mm -hmm. We're not used to this lifestyle yet. I'm still thinking <laughs> too small. Thinking too small. Whoa! Okay, this is how you know people are rich rich when they have posters like that in their bathroom. Imagine you're sitting here, you're pooping, and you're looking at this guy, looking, his eyes are looking right back at me. That's how you know you're rich rich, because I would not want that. <laughs> Look at this room though, this is a great room. It seems like it was actually the same size as the other room that we saw. 1.6 million. In the 1.6 million. Yeah. Same, size, same size, but because of the decor, they made it so expensive. Well, that was this whole house. Now we're gonna show you the backyard. Okay, so these doors, we have to talk about them. You can push them all the way over on this side. So this is the true definition of indoor, outdoor living. A lot of more expensive California homes have this feature where you can open the doors all the way and you can be in and out of the house at the same time. Then you come out here and you have your sitting area. You can enjoy yourself take a break, but there is one thing to point out. It doesn't matter how rich you are, there will always be bird poop on your outdoor living area. This area also has a really super cool feature, which is 
an outdoor fireplace. Then you come out here, you have a pool, you have a barbecue, and again, another sitting area. That's all for this house. Now let's talk to our realtor and see which house we like the best. Okay, so what is the cost of this house? I know we were kind of fluctuating on the price a little bit. Can you tell us a little bit about that? And then the cost of the property taxes and also the HOA. So the HOA is 300 and mm -hmm. that includes similar community features such as the pool, clubhouse, and walking trails, a mm -hmm. gate, which is really nice as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the taxes comes out to about 1.3%. Okay, mm -hmm. so that would be about 58,000 a year? Give or take, Okay. Uh, depending on the price of the home. It's, okay. That uh, determines the price of the tax. Okay, so these houses fluctuate based on view, based mm -hmm. on upgrades. So the yeah. base price, according to the sheet that they gave us, how much was that? The base price is about four million, but then okay. if you ha add on all of the extra features and stuff, such mm -hmm. as if you wanted to buy the model house, mm -hmm. they're expecting it to go somewhere between seven and eight million. Wow. Um, and that is because of the view. Uh, all of the extra uh, upgrades inside the home mm -hmm. and also the furniture as well. Okay, for you personally, which house was your favorite? Uh, I mean, I think it again, it all comes down to your budget and right. uh, your preference. Uh, if I had to pick one, I probably would still pick the middle one just because mm -hmm. I am more of a small town, hometown girl yes. vibe where I wouldn't want something too over the top. Yes, so one thing that I really noticed as we've been looking at all three houses today, obviously they're very drastically different price points, but I noticed that American homes, just like we were talking about earlier, there's so much about like entertaining and having space mm -hmm. and having it be open. We've noticed all three homes were almost all open for floor yeah. plans. It wasn't all about practicality. It was about the beauty of it and yeah. enjoying a home. Because as we were saying, Americans spend a lot more time in their homes they and they love their homes and it's a place to mm -hmm. invite friends over. It's a place that represents you. Yes. I love this opportunity to come and look at three different price points because you really get a feel of all that you know, yes. the city has to yes. offer. There can be very beautiful homes, there can be very small but beautiful homes. Mm -hmm. This was a fun day, it was a very fun experience. I'm glad that we got to do this. I thank you for taking us out and showing yeah. us these homes. I think it's fun as, you know, imagining what my future home will look like. Yeah. And so it kind of gives us a closer idea of what we want. So thank you for watching this video. Like, comment, thank subscribe. Subscribe to Tiffany and Halong's channel and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.